Welcome back. In the last video, we cover the topic of nonlinear relationship and how to model them using ensemble models, uh, such as random forest, decision tree, as well as add a boast. Um, there is just one thing that I do want to visit, which is the feature importance. Now, this is something that we've covered previously on the correlation as well as um, feature selection. But the issue then was that when we actually were performing uh, the feature selection we were using correlation analysis but we don't necessarily know which feature is the best one to use remember too that we covered it again under multiple regression uh, looking at the coefficient itself and also by looking at r square performance evaluation by adding and removing features and see if the r square goes up or down um, so that's the other approach that uh, we could take now this is the third one uh, which is making use of some of the model uh, such as edibles such as random forest and in this case we won't demonstrate decision tree so this is just another arrow into your bow that you can actually use to select the features that is most significant and make use of it uh, to build your model and allow these uh, so-called ensemble model to inform you which are the uh, important features now this is really a following on from the previous uh, lesson covering a brief introduction to Edibost, uh, Random Forest as well as Decision Tree in modeling our Boston housing data set. Now we have 13 features here. Are they all equally important? And which one, uh, well, if they're not equally important, then which features are more important? Can scikit-learn help us to actually uh, perform this exercise? Now we've already run the Edibos and actually uh, modeling our data using Edibos ensemble method. So under Edda, the model itself, there is actually this uh, feature importance where it extracts the so-called relative uh, importance. All right, so if you have a look at the um, columns itself, these are the corresponding columns, although it's a bit difficult to actually um, directly correspond. So I'm gonna use a data frame Dependence data frame and just merge them together and uh, name the column as features and sort the features. So based on this table, what you can see here is that LSTAT is the most important feature followed by RM, this and all the way down to uh, the last three being H, ZN and CHAS. It is pretty consistent with what we actually did before. Now this is just to help you to recall this. This is under the multiple regression. And uh, what we did do is using linear regression and uh, using the actual coefficient itself and uh, to inform us, um, and especially after we have standardized it. So you can see LSTAT is also the highest here. It's consistent LSTAT. Uh, this and RM, uh, this and RM, and the last three is H, ZN, and CHAS. This is using Edibost. And if you look at this, is uh, H, Indus, and CHAS. So a slight variation, but Indus is also fairly lower in the bottom. So they are fairly consistent. So if I plot that out, and what you can see here is that these first four really contribute a lot uh, in terms of explaining the variability of the underlying median house price. So if we look at random forest, we can do the same exercise if we plot that out. And what you can see here is LSTAT against the top, followed by uh, RM, and then it tapered down really quickly. CHAS, ZN uh, are still the bottom. Uh, age is about the middle, but they are still actually a very small. So you can see that these lower portion here is just a small band. Uh, they seem to fluctuate quite a fair bit. But the funny part here is the DIS, right? It's actually quite prominent under error um, well that's not funny actually it's a consistent uh, under random forest as well well um, that's really the end of this uh, video lesson what I would like you to do right now is to actually well do this simple really simple exercise run through this feature importance again but the slight variation is this now when we actually were doing the decision tree, uh, we only select one uh, feature uh, to run our model. Okay, and um, what I'd like you to do is this time around run a decision tree with all of the x values, meaning all 13 features 
uh, throw it all in and see what it looks like okay and see how the actual decision tree will plot out and the second thing is after you've done that come down and run the actual feature importance and see if decision tree uh, output actually agrees with what we have here so take a few moments pause the video now and go and try this exercise right how did that go i really hope that you tried that out and uh, you know basically built your model using decision tree regressor fit using the x train and y train data same as edibles and also random forest run the prediction itself run the actual uh, comparison between the mean square errors as well as the r square and finally extract the actual feature importance itself so this is my code uh, let me just run that uh, for you what you can see here the mean square error is actually higher than um, both the um, random forest as well as the edibles okay so for 1.87 for random forest and 4.48 where this one is in the double digits, so it's substantially higher. So R square naturally will be lower as well. And finally, in terms of the so-called um, features important, if you have a look at this, um, you can see that RM is not ranked as number one, followed by LSTAT, and uh, and this is still the same three. It's just that the so-called order is slightly different. Uh, it seems like um, for random forests and also uh, uh, this is edibles agree that LSTAT is the most important followed by RM and DIS and uh, but uh, for the decision tree method it seems to disagree in terms of the sequence so that really comes to the end of this lesson on uh, revisiting feature uh, importance I hope you have found it useful and uh, this video really highlight to you that there are multiple ways that you can actually uh, extract the key features that actually have an influence over uh, your model so uh, this is really one of the way that you can actually um, tackle this issue and identifying the key features with that I'm going to end this video thank you for watching